this formwork is going to uh, hold the grade beam. The grade beam is two foot thick and four foot wide with uh, uh, reinforced concrete rebar. These are, uh, are where the column bases are going to be bolted down to the grade beam. So the bolts extend 18 inches into the grade beam concrete and the, the big plate bolt it down and there'll be a, a steel column welded to the bottom of the plate. And if the building needs adjusting, on this steel column there will be bolted a, uh, a protuberance of uh, steel that will project out over this um, jacking column. And this jacking column projects up from the spread footer below. And there's a, um, some bitumen and melamine here, so that the grade beam can be poured against it, but won't stick to it. Because the grade beam has to be able to slip up and around the jacking column. So we would put a jack on this jacking column, and it would be under the protuberance of the steel column that's supporting the building. And if we uh, push down on the column, and, on the jacking column, and up on the steel column, we will separate the grade beam from the spread footer. The spread footer will probably get squished down a little bit, and the grade beam will come up relative to the spread footer. And then once we have the building back to level, there'll be a gap between the grade beam and the spread footer. And these tubes will allow us to inject structural foam down through the grade beam. Cut it open and stick the foam nozzle down through and fill the void between the grade beam and the spread foot. jacket, um, it, will, it will have to span between the uh, jacking points, and so we need additional thickness and additional rebar to stiffen it up between those two points. So there's quite a substantial uh, increase in, in size. And 